In this example, we're now given two force vectors, one of 150 newtons at 30 degrees from the x-axis and one 78 newtons, 15 degrees, but in the negative direction from the x-axis. And we wish to add these two forces together. From high school mathematics, you may know of rules such as the parallelogram law, which, which can help you in the addition of vectors. However, the most general way that we can use to add any vectors and any number of vectors, so in this case two would be okay for the parallel, parallelogram law, but if we had six vectors to add, the parallelogram law is no longer functional. So we're going to use the addition of these vectors using the summation of the Cartesian components of each of the individual vectors. So, and we're just going to go through this step by step. So, first of all, what we want to do, step one, is to resolve the vectors into their components. And so, I'm going to call this vector here, the 150, I'm going to call this F1. And I'll call the 78 Newton vector F2. And this F1 vector, I'm then going to split up into its comp Cartesian components. So this vector here, and this vector here. And so the horizontal component, I'm going to call F1x. And the vertical component, I'm going to call F1y. Similarly for the F2 vector. So F1x. F1x is equal to 150, multiply the cosine of 30 degrees, equals 129.9 newtons. Similarly for the y direction, F1y equals 150 multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees, which equals 75 newtons and quickly for f2 f2x equals 78 multiplied by the cosine of 15 degrees which equals 75.4 newtons and f2y equals minus 78 sine 15 degrees which equals minus 20.2 newtons and the minus sign here because the y component of this vector is pointing downwards okay so we're going to move along from there step two is that we add the x and y components so our final vector will consist of two components that we've added together and I'm just drawing it like this but it could be in a positive sense let's draw it in a positive sense so we could have a resultant force vector that we're going to call FR So we have an x component of this resultant force vector and we have a y component of this resultant force vector and I'm just going to label those up so we could, we're going to call this f r y and f r x and the f r x consists of f 1 x so we're going to have f 1 x and f2x and similarly for the y component we will have part of that which is from f1x which is the 129.9 i'm going to draw this a little bit clearer now so the f1x is 129.9 129.9 129 but we had a negative component of minus 20.2 which took us to our total y component of the force vector. So we're just going to add the x and y components together. 
to get our Cartesian component of the resultant force vector. So, step two, add components. So, FRX equals F1X plus F2X, which equals the 129.9 plus 75.4 which equals 205.25 newtons same for the y direction now we get f r in the y direction is equal to f1 y plus f2 y which equals 75 plus minus 20.2, which equals 54.81 newtons. And now we do, as we did on the previous example, we calculate the magnitude using Pythagoras theorem and then calculate the angle from uh, from geometry. So, step three. So, calculate the resultant. So, we get FR equals the square root of FRX all squared plus FRY squared Make sure that square root is over both components, which equals the square root of 205.25 squared plus 54.81 squared, all square rooted, and gives us the magnitude of our resultant force vector is equal to 212.4 newtons. So now we have the magnitude, we're going to compute the direction. Step four, compute direction. So again, it's quite useful that we go back as a sanity check. So we have 205.25 in the x direction. 205.25. And 54 plus 54, 8, 1 in the y direction. So we're expecting, and this would be our resultant force of 212.4 newtons. So we're now expecting a positive angle less than 45 degrees. So let's go through and do the calculations. So Theta, let's call this angle theta here, is tan to the minus 1, sometimes written down as a tan, of FRY divided by FRX. So that's equal to tan to the minus 1 of 54.81 divided by 205.25 which equals 14.95 degrees